Here are 10 unexpected benefits of being single in your 30s. <clears throat> Benefit number six. I've learned to be a lot more open in life. Here's the thing, when I was a kid, I always felt like people assumed things about me. This happens to everyone. We have stereotypes and there are boxes that people put people in just because it's easy to define who this person is before we even know them. But what I didn't realize is I sometimes put myself in a box. I've had these ideas and dreams of how things are supposed to go in my life. And when it doesn't go that way, at first I'm like, wait, what? Hold up. But that's a box that I create for myself. That comes from this need to be a part of some formula that we put in our brain as the right way, the best way, and the way that'll make me happy. Oops. It's not what we think. Every time I've been forced to like relinquish my box idea, it's always different and better and more awesome. So because nothing in my 20s worked out the way I thought, my 30s has been like, okay, I'm gonna be open to possibilities, open to different kinds of relationships, open to all the things. I have been blown away. <laughs> it just makes me excited for the things to come. Okay, number seven. Being single in my 30s has allowed me to fall on my face a bit more and get back up. There's always life on the other side. I think having gone through a lot more of those things, I am more resilient, have a different perspective on life and relationships, and it's much stronger. Yeah. Okay, number eight. I am definitely a more balanced person. Younger Bray was so imbalanced. It got pretty unhealthy. I got into like disordered thinking about my body and my food and eating and gosh, that can eat you up. But I just revealed these things that I hadn't dealt with that were inside of me that I needed to get help with through like counseling and like spiritual guidance and I was just like, oh my gosh. If that resonates with you, by the way, you're not alone. I think that happens with so many people. Number nine, I am so much less fearful. <sighs> Fear is literally the biggest, biggest deceiver and robber of life. People are fear-based when it comes to relationships. It's like, oh my gosh, if you're not here by then, you better freeze your eggs and you better do this and that and the other. And you know what? I just don't subscribe to that. My faith is in God and not in... Ooh. All right, number... 10. Being single in my 30s has really stretched my faith because to me, my faith in God is the most important thing and that's the thing that has brought me to this point. We have so much strength and, and ability inside of us, but ultimately, my source of peace and strength and clarity comes from my relationship with God. Because then when things aren't going as I think and it's weird or painful and whatever, he literally does show up for me and he just shows me his goodness in it and I don't have to figure it out and make it happen the way I think. I used to be more like that and it just kind of like robbed me of life and joy. So, anywho, those are my little morning thoughts. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you want to share anything below or ask anything below, please do. But this is my story. These are my thoughts. And I hope they bring you strength today. You guys, go be your awesome self today. And I'll be my awesome self. Mwah. Bye. Even though I'm a very independent woman, I've done a lot of things on my own, I still am 100% on board with a traditional marriage. It's in line with my values and my heart and how I see partnership working.